then the lady says, Vera Wang does not get altered. You get altered to fit into Vera Wang. Sitting alone in your Hi all and welcome back to my channel. I am so pleased to have you here today because I am unboxing a very epic Wedgwood haul. Now this is a lot of things that I've collected over the past few months in hiding. I have kept them all away and I'm going to be doing a true unboxing with you today. So the collections that I will be unboxing are going to be the Butterfly Bloom collection by Wedgwood, which is a very spring inspired collection. I also have some, peaches, uh, some pieces from Vera Wang and I'll also have a few other things that I picked up from Wedgwood that I really thought would add to my teaware collection. So if this is your cup of tea, then please give this video a little like and I will see you in a bit. So I've had a coffee because this is going to be a long one, but I don't want to tire you too much with all this information. I just want to show you the goods and then I will uh, talk through bits and pieces where I think are necessary. But one of the first things that I collected was not actually from the Butterfly Bloom collection, but it was just a beautiful set of pieces that I thought would add so much to my existing collection. And that is a cake stand. So as you can see, over here I have a cake stand in the back and I purchased this from Amazon and I really wanted a, a utopia style cake stand because when I have more guests over the little um, one that I have from Royal Albert is not quite big enough to fit everything on so I thought a utopia one will be a little bit more efficient to help put all the food on the plates and the plates that I bought are these beautiful Wedgwood plates. And these ones are from the Geo collection. So when you have a look at the plate, it has almost like these carnage kind of designs all the way around the rim. And this is bone china as well. It has this beautiful glisten over it and you can see the detail. There's a gap along the outside and then they start a little bit bigger and they get smaller as they go into the center. And they're also kind of dome shaped in. So there's a little bit of a, um, a lift to the end of the plate. And I saw these and thought they were so beautiful. Even if you're popping your dinner on here, they're just so elegant. And I only bought three of them, but I think that I'll be using these also for dinners and all other occasions, not just for on the stand. But I really did think that this was something that I needed um, to add. And I was gonna use my general plates uh, that I already have that are not bone china, because usually when you put all the food on there, you can't really see the designs and I did have a look at the Wedgwood uh, cake stand but it was not really what I was looking for and I found it very similar to the one that I have from Royal Albert anyway so I decided to get one that had just that simple base but a little bit of elegance on the end. Now there is one thing that I discovered when I was getting the plates was that they were a little bit too wide on the top level of the cake stand so that one doesn't fit in properly but the other two do but just keep in mind when you are buying a cake stand that the plates that you currently already have are going to fit inside it otherwise you might have to wiggle them in to make it fit okay there is so much here I don't even know where to begin I am beyond excited I have almost like butterflies uh, just uh, opening it because I feel like it's Christmas and um, teaware really makes me excited. So let me have a look. Uh, shall we start with something that is quite an add on to the collection, but I just had to get it because I have seen it here and about and I really did like how it looked. As we open, This is the sandwich tray from Butterfly Bloom. It has such a beautiful pattern on there. 
I really love the colors of the green and the pink together. Pink is one of my favorite colors, but I love it when it's mixed with colors that are a little bit unusual. I don't like a full pink aesthetic, but I love a pop of pink. And you can see the pink is throughout this sandwich tray, but there's also green balancing it and giving it that earthy kind of relaxed vibe. I think this is perfect for spring. You could use this for multiple things, just as a general plate, it does not have to be for sandwiches it is so versatile you could even use it as a decorative piece this would look really adorable on my coffee table there's lots of butterflies in the middle and yeah so that is the sandwich tray absolutely gorgeous and when it's on the table it's going to add a lot of character now I feel like it is only right to start with one of the teacups because the teacups are absolutely adorable and the reason why I really got interested in this collection was for the teacups. I just found that the designs were just so captivating and the fact that every design looks slightly different in within the same collection, not only in design but also in shape, had me so intrigued and I love something that has so much character because I find that it just makes you excited every single time you bring it out. Here is the beautiful teacup. Now I don't know if you remember watching my last video about Royal Albert unboxing. I did one uh, with the 100 Years collection and I did miss out on one teacup and saucer collection from that one and it was the 1990s collection and it was in yellow and this is fulfilling my fantasy of not being able to find that one pre-loved. This has a beautiful vintage mustard yellow on the outside. When you look on the inside, it has lovely detailing around here. It's almost like a Moroccan kind of a style, but the flowers are very vintage and they look like they were drawn with ink. And you've got the gilding on the top and also the gilding on the bottom there as well. So this is truly adorable. And inside, but wait, there's more. So inside every collection that you buy, they come with the teacup and the saucer. So we have the butterfly bloom pink and yellow teacup and saucer. This is truly just adorable. They go on there like this. And you can see the colouring is just so similar, but also contrasting and quite different. And I really do like how they've used a dark blue in there with the mustard yellow and the pink. It doesn't make it overly feminine. It makes it, you know, very neutral and a modern twist to an antique style and pattern because these patterns are actually antique patterns from the Wedgwoods um, collections so whether they'd be from wallpaper or anything that may have inspired them at the time when they were creating this was created um, uh, with those intentions in mind okay so we'll pop that one over there I'm gonna unbox another one they really do make me excited, the teacups. I think if there's one thing about the whole collection, it's definitely the teacups. So here we have the classic teacup from the collection. I think was this was the base design. So it's very similar to the sandwich tray that we just unboxed. And you can see in here also there is a little flower and also it's got the beautiful butterflies now the butterflies are not on every piece they're just on certain pieces and i can see the butterflies on this one absolutely adorable and then when we open up and see at the, the saucer, the saucer reminds me so much of looking at a river separating some land and then we have just some fields on the other side. I really do envision this as like an abstract kind of a landscape piece of work. It's just absolutely magnificent. And together they are sort of, um, match but what you can see here is that on one side it is green and on the other side it has white so you can turn it around and mix and match if you please 
or you can have them all aligning. Also, I uh, noticed that on this china, you can fit, uh, they're all the same size, so the teacups are the same size, but the difference that we have here is this one is actually wider than this one. So it's shorter and wider, and this one is taller and slimmer, but they fit the same amount of liquid. And I just think it's so creative to do something like this within one collection. You can see that it really does give you an ethereal, almost like a mad tea party vibe because nothing is matching or suiting. It's all very different and unique. There is that one. I might pop that one over here. And here we unlock another one. Of course, you know me, when I like something and I have interest in it, I find it hard to just stick with one or two pieces. I do like collections and I like to collect things that make me happy. Uh, I have nearly the complete set of Royal Albert. I just collected four of each and I just found I look at it every day in my china cabinet and it brings me so much joy. So I wanted to do the same with this. So this one is another one similar to the yellow cup and you can see the detailing in this one is just magnificent. The blue separation but you've got like tiny little tree branches and they are kind of uh, purple interpretation plus you've got some Chinese flowers along here as well. Now we know Wedgwood loves to include Chinese flowers and then the matching saucer is here. This is probably my most neutral one out of the collection. Still very beautiful and uh, the colours are also very contrasting which I do like. This one kind of blends in a little bit in the background. It is still on its own. So beautiful. Okay I'll put that one over there. I'm gonna run out of space in a minute. And then lastly let's just finish off the Wedgwood teacups. Now this one is another one of my favorites. I love how the outside of it has this beautiful leaf vine that is carrying around and if you have noticed that the uh, outer exterior is very warped and this gives it such character. I really like that. It looks like there's quilting here as well so quilting along the outside and then the beautiful flowers on the bottom. I really like this blue colour, it's very elegant and it's kind of washed at the same time so it's, um, it's got a lot of character. The bottom part of it is probably the most solid one as this one doesn't have any white in it but I really like how solid it is and when they go together obviously you can line them up so if you wanted to match those two you could pop them like this. Or on the other side with just the flowers like so. They don't match up perfectly but they match up so you get the idea and I think that was what they intended as well because it does make it very charming. So now I've unboxed the four complete set of the teacups and the tea saucers and also the sandwich tray. I'm very excited to show you the bigger pieces that I collected. Some of these were very hard to source. One of the most hardest things to source out of everything here was the sandwich tray. I found that even on the Wedgwood website it was sold out and I could not find it anywhere. So it was quite um, a long wait for me to find the sandwich tray available but I managed to actually find it online for a good discount. Now when people sell Wedgwood online sometimes it can be quite dear and I've noticed especially the Butterfly Bloom collection is not as available as say the Royal Albert collection from the 100 years. So I did have to wait quite a while and I kept checking on eBay and finally it came up and someone was selling it for much cheaper than what the other competitors were selling it for. So I snapped that one up and I could not be happier because it came with the box as well and if you can get something in the box as well it does make it a lot more special because the resale value also will be a lot better. I also found this uh, from eBay and this is a 
tea strainer and I really did need one of these. I was actually going to go to Fortnum and Mason and buy a steel one. Although I wasn't too keen on having a steel one, I did find this one online and it is a Wedgwood brand. You can see the W there and this fits perfectly over your teacups and saucers. So I will show you over the wider ones. It fits so nicely because they are warped as well. So this is where you would pour from the teapot all of the tea without a filter in the teapot. It will go in here and catch all the leaves and then you can remove it and then you've got a nicely strained tea. The holes on this one are quite sporadic but they're a good size so you know that you're going to get a lot of the flavor in there as well. So I was really happy to find that one but the only thing that it did not come with was the bottom part that you place it on. I was not fussed about that. It is not something that I actually really need. As long as I could find the strainer I, that was the most thing that made me happy. Just keep in mind if you're looking for that one it should have the bottom part also with it. Okay so <laughs> uh, I am going to show you. So, as I open in here, this I got from the Wedgwood website. Uh, I could not find anyone selling a complete set for an affordable price. So I just uh, got it on their sale and I was very lucky to catch their sale because I've noticed now it is no longer there, but sites like Wedgwood and places that stock Royal Albert usually have uh, sales every few times a year. There is usually a sale on Valentine's Day, there's usually a sale on Mother's Day. This had no particular re relevance to the sale date. I did manage to get it on sale and um, yes, they do pop up every now and again. Oh, she's really wedged in. I have to be careful not to drop anything. Okay, my goodness, the packaging for that is not um, <laughs> the easiest to take out, so be very careful. In here I have the complete collection of the plates that go underneath each teacup and saucer. This is the white plate that goes with the light blue. So let me show you what that looks like. So just like so, that one would go on there. Just pop that over here. And then we have the blue one here. Now, something I have noticed is that there is no divot on these plates. They are completely smooth and flat. So the teacup and saucer will uh, jiggle around and it might scratch, but that's not a worry. So they go on here like this. Then we have the gorgeous original design uh, of the Butterfly Bloom collection with all the butterflies there. And this also is the same print as the sandwich tray. And you can see it is so magical. All of them stacked on there it looks completely adorable. And lastly, we have the pink one, which is definitely one of my favorites. I just love the contrast of this one. And when you pop that on like so, there you have it. So adorable. So there is the collection. Looking at them all together is absolutely adorable. And there was one thing that I had in mind to make it even more cuckoo. You could switch out the tea sauces and swap them around because everything does suit each other really well. So I think if you switch them around, it would look really magic and charming as well because you'll get a little bit of a taste on every single plate. But of course, if you prefer the traditional way of setting it up, then having everything match each other um, per section is also fine as well. But they are quite different to each other. So uh, it is quite a contrast when you look at them together. Um, but if you did mix pieces and, and parts, it will really just bring everything together and I think make it even more charming. Now I have one last thing from the Butterfly Bloom collection to show you. So I've got to make some room now. So let me just move that out of the way. So in this big box, I think you can all guess what's inside here. It is probably the most exciting uh, star of the show when it comes to the Butterfly Bloom collection. 
Now this was a difficult decision for me to make. I was deciding between two designs. Now they had this small teapot and they had the large teapot. Now obviously the large teapot is better if you're hosting you know four or more people because you're not going to be filling up the teapot so often but the smaller one was just a little bit more adorable in my opinion. I did not collect the smaller one although I was this close to getting it. It was also about £30 cheaper but I had the option of buying it on sale. But there was another reason why I led towards getting the larger one. So here is the teapot. Now the teapot is huge. It's a lot bigger than any teapot that I have but it is adorable. Now let's start with this side. You have got the beautiful quilting pattern that we mentioned earlier and you've got these lovely pink flowers that look like watercolor painted absolutely adorable they've got little red bits in the middle and I think that this is probably the best part in my opinion of the teapot I really like it I also like this little butterfly that's just over here it's like red and it's got blue and green and I think it's so charming now when we switch to the other side you have a little bit of those butterflies on the original design. You've also got some of those blue flowers, those Chinese flowers. So this teapot is a piece of every single one of the teacup designs put on this teapot and it does look a little bit like all over the place but when you pop it all together it is really charming and I do really adore how it looks. Now let's not forget that we have the lid to go on top as well and the lid you can choose if you want to line it up of course and as you see it lines up like that or you can have it mix match it doesn't really matter but um, it does look very adorable. Now it has the gold gilding along the edges and the lid uh, has the top part that you pull off which is gold as well. Quite a heavy piece so definitely good for sharing around as it is a really good size. Now I was very tempted to get the pink one because the pink one is similar to this design it has this on it and I thought it was really charming but it's probably only a teapot for about two people and because I wanted to host my afternoon tea I wanted to have a little bit more space in my teapot without having to go back and forward so yeah this is just so beautiful and when you see them all together it really is just like so mesmerizing and I do often wonder why you can't see these collections in many stores in London. I could only really find these online and if I tried to go to a store like House of Fraser they usually would have other pieces, newer collections, but they wouldn't hold these beautiful collections which I think are one of the best of their modern designs but it's still very available online so that was really good for me. Now as I was saying earlier there was one reason why I chose this one over the other design and that was because in the set with this teapot you also receive a beautiful crema so for putting milk in here and you know I don't drink milk in my tea but when hosting obviously many people drink uh, milk in their tea so it's always good to have the option for someone and having that in the collection also just makes it so charming here so this you could pop over on the sandwich tray and then in the other one that they had this is for the sugar cubes so you can pop sugar cubes in this one and it has a little bit of a mixed design it's got the pink and it's got the butterflies on there and it really is charming because every there's four different designs and every part of the collection that they bring out they can choose what part of the design to put onto the pieces so this makes it extremely difficult to try and choose whether or not you just want to have two parts of the collection or collect it all because they're all so very different 
and it brings me so much joy to have finally put my whole collection together. You can see on the sandwich tray that you could place them like this. Or you could pop sandwiches on there. I think I might leave it like this as I do have the uh, tear stand which I will probably put the sandwiches on the bottom but if you were just having a tea for two or if you're enjoying a slice of cake or just sandwiches for yourself then that would be perfect to have that as well. So here is my complete collection. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was magnificent to be able to see everything finally in person as I wanted to share that with you. I really do love collecting teaware and I just think it is one of those things that the beauty of collecting teaware is sometimes just waiting to find those little hidden treasures and I think good things come to people who wait so when you are hunting about then you do obviously find a beautiful find. There's one more thing that I needed to show you. So this was a piece from Vera Wang. Now Vera Wang uh, also work with Wedgwood so it is a collaboration. I'm not sure when it started the collaboration but when I think about Vera Wang I think about that um, Bride movie that is got Anne Hathaway in it uh, It's um, and I think Kate Hudson. Yes, it's got, yeah, so Anne Hathaway, she is one of my favorite actors. I absolutely adore Anne Hathaway. I fell in love with her acting in Princess Diaries. That was the first time I watched her when I was a child. And it was just so, um, I just love that movie so much. And Bridal Wars is the movie, I think it's Bride Wars. And I don't know if you would remember in that scene, there's this, when they're at the reception, they're trying on dresses. And someone says, oh, maybe we could get it altered, the wedding dress. And then the lady says, Vera Wang does not get altered. You get altered to fit into Vera Wang. <laughs> or along those lines. So sassy. So it's very prestigious, uh, the brand Vera Wang. And yeah, so in here, I thought that this was a piece that was really adorable. So you can see on the inside... So inside here we have these beautiful napkin holders and they are a beautiful silver finish, very shiny, almost like a mirror, but they've got this warm undertone to them and I thought it would look, even though it's silver, I thought it would look quite adorable with the gold and the little bow is just so charming on there. I did look at something that was gonna be more natural as a napkin holders, but when I saw these, I thought, you know, it's okay to have a little bit of silverware and mix the two together. And I thought that these were a bit more charming and I could also use it with my other collections as well. So I chose these and I just thought they were so adorable. Vera Wang is quite expensive, but uh, if there was one thing I wanted to get, it was the napkin holder. They just look so beautiful with everything. On the side, this side, you can also see it says Vera Wang there as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed filming it. Going to be very excited to use this. Stay around very shortly because I'll be hosting an afternoon tea party with my friends. You can see us all enjoying our afternoon tea. And I'm also going to prepare a classic Victorian sponge, which is going to be the star of the show, the afternoon tea. And of course, I will show you how I set the table and the little bits and pieces that I also elevate my experience. Last time I did an afternoon tea video, it was well received, so I cannot wait to share another one with you as it has become time. And the weather in London has been so good to us. It has been sunny during autumn, so there is nothing wrong with having a spring summer inspired afternoon tea to enjoy the last bits of our nice warm weather. I hope you find joy in the little things like tea drinking and collecting fine china. I sure do. It is something that I can enjoy time and time again. And